Taking a live look tonight at Hartsfield Jackson Airport, where the holiday travel rush is on. It has been quite a day at the world's busiest airport just ahead of the 4th of July. Hartsfield Jackson is packed and the airport could in fact break a record with the number of passengers it expects to see today. This all comes during a very busy summer travel season. Fox House Tyler Fingert is live at the airport. Tyler with a crush of passengers. How are things going? Well, Courtney, good evening to you. From what I've seen, things have been relatively smooth here. This is the main security checkpoint you'll see. There is a decently long line. The evening rush is on tonight. So far, the agency has screened more than 67,000 passengers here at ATL. It was a record morning, and they're not done counting yet. It's the holiday hustle at airports ahead of Independence Day. Next the line. TSA checkpoints at Hartsfield Jackson International are racing toward a record as tens of thousands head out for the fourth. Very busy, very crowded. I wouldn't say like wall to wall people, but like close. The TSA at ATL expects to set an all time record Friday by screening about 104,000 passengers. We knew that it was going to be extremely busy. We had every single security lane open nice and early. Well, Friday is expected to be the busiest, the entire holiday period will also see large crowds. That could be problematic this weekend when major wireless carriers flip the switch on 5G cell service near airports. There's fears 5G could interfere with a plane's radio altimeter. It's like a radar in a lot of ways. It sends out a signal which bounces on the ground and comes back to the airplane. Airlines have been working for more than a year to upgrade their planes, but the Secretary of Transportation says not everyone is done yet. In a letter he wrote, this means on bad weather, low visibility days in particular, there could be increased delays and cancellations. Delta says supply chain issues means about 20% of its fleet still needs to be updated, but it plans to move planes to reduce impacts. In a statement, it said safety of flight will never be in question. Former Delta Airlines pilot Paul Carr says issues this weekend are unlikely. It would be in extraordinary circumstances and extraordinary circumstances happen that there were going to be any disruptions over the weekend or the 4th of July because of this issue. And the TSA says the max wait time here at Hartsfield Jackson today about 31 minutes. So most people are getting through relatively quickly, especially through the general security line. As for the 5G issue, the other carriers, other major carriers like American, United and Southwest say their planes have all been retrofitted. We're live at Hartsfield Jackson tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Well, it is to be expected on a weekend like this that you're going to have hordes of people. It's kind of what it looks like behind you right now, Tyler. Thanks a lot.